Hey guys, how is it going? It's been a long time I uploaded a video. We were all sick and I lost my voice and so all the nine yard what it came with it. Um, anyways, I wanted to upload a quick video. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna have a, um, another cold, cold morning, cold night. And uh, I just wanted to show you beforehand. We already had a weekend that it was, it went down to pretty low, but it wasn't uh, freeze. So that was really, really nice. Um, I know some of you weren't as lucky. Last year we get the frost, we, um, it definitely get affected more so far. This year we only went down to 36, 37. So uh, it wasn't too bad. I hope tomorrow morning and uh, tonight it's also going to be around 37. I think close to the damage, what it does when it, it freezes. So let me show you really quick um, the Anonas. This is a sugar apple, but beha behind that, you see, after the hurricane, I had we had to straighten it out. That's a sour sap. It's uh, basically all the way lost its leaves. And this is the youngest sour sap. Now, if you see the other one outside from the garden, that's a more mature one. It didn't lose all its leaves yet. There was uh, some fruit that that fall off, uh, fell off. But uh, I guess the younger the tree, the more damage it, it's gonna take, and that's normal because they are more delicate by young stages, especially when they are uh, just. Um, seedlings they don't have a hardened wood a hardwood yet and so uh, it's a it can be devastating for the seedlings you have to protect them when it's uh, the, the weather cooling down a lot but on a good note i see growth emerging see the sugar apple i also wanted to show you really quick the custard apple and there is a good couple of custard apples on the tree but depending if there is gonna be a, a frost or not that's what's gonna determine if we are actually gonna taste it this year you can see this is the ox heart Anona reticulata, the other name inside all pink. It's very appetizing. See? Nice size. They grow a nice size too. I love them. Very pretty when it ripens up. It's like, get like a reddish pink to the color. Other than that, um, the mango is looking pretty good. This one is the pickering, flowering, pushing, pushing in flowers, and in different stages because it starts to flower was in December, and uh, there is already little mangoes on those. Look at that little pickering mango. The banana. Let me see. Okay, it slowed down a lot. I don't know if it's gonna mature. Oh, the Rolinia looking really, really bad. You can see there is the fruit. It was a fruit over there. It's just dried up. Oh, there's more, several fruits, but um, uh, this tree is um, very, very sad looking. I don't know. Hopefully it's going to come back. I hope. I love this tree. Um, if not, there's other seedlings in the garden, but I absolutely love this uh, tree. It's very, very fruitful. <clears throat> and the fruit is uh, delicious. Other than that, I have been picking loquats yesterday i had a couple of loquats i tried it was pretty good and very good it's a chinese plum uh, very tasty i think 
the orchids i hope they also of course they're not gonna get the frost because that would that would be a lot of loss some of the wonders are pretty nice size Shadow. this is another variety of custard apple san pablo that's how i bought the tree san pablo variety let's see some of the orchids are in flower so is the matchstick bromelia they are very very easy to take care of. you don't have to do much about them the bromelias oh it's so cold okay this is another orchid that it's in flower right now dendrobiums they flower year round so i love them for that reason Ooh, <laughs> Okay, so this is another sour sap tree. Oh, these are the seedlings. These are like, I'm pretty sure they are dead. Uh, the sour sap seedlings, um, they didn't make it the first uh, cold, cold snack. But you never know, maybe they will come back. Have to see. Have to see to know more. Um, there were so many fruit sets on this tree in December. It was very... Um, um, Fun to see it first hand but of course I wasn't sure if it's gonna make it because of the if we're gonna have fortunate you can see the fruits fall at Pella so I mean other than that everything looking pretty good um the sour stuff is expected to lose leaves at winter time just because the cold weather, if it goes uh, uh, below 50 or uh, 40 to 50, well, it's already losing its leaves. But um, the main thing, if it's not gonna get a frost, that, that will be very, very good. And then normally what if happens, then it would grow back and hopefully um, grow back fast enough to flower and fruit in the summer to flower in the spring and then um, fruit in the summer so either way if you have a mature tree then you have a bigger chance that it's gonna make it even after a cold winter last year we had the frost and um, it was below freezing and it came back and it gave us so much fruits so a half a year is fruit flowering and fruiting. Half a year is probably gonna be out of uh, out of order. <laughs> I would say like um, it's just going to dormancy because of the cold weather. So hi, Dixie. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. Like I said, I didn't post it for the longest time. I was pretty sick. I had no voice. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys. Have a good one. Bye.